Hello everybody. <clears throat> welcome to any new subscribers and welcome back to those who have been here for a while with me. Today I have a short video for you. It's a little bit late but not too much because we are only on the 9th but then again I felt like yesterday was just the first. So I have my um, plans of what I would like to color in the month of May. Um, that's going to include new pages and whips. Um, so we're going to start with, and these are in no particular order, but we're going to start with Tales from the City Among the Stars. <clears throat> and this is, as far as I'm aware, this is Hannah Carlson's latest book. She is working on one that's like, um, oh my God, where... Is my ring um sorry I got distracted it's like an underwater I think like Atlantis type thing that she's working on and um I don't think that's come out yet though I'm pretty sure it hasn't been released but it might it's you released in the UK first, but I'm I'm almost positive it's not released. Anyway, um, I want to do one out of this book. I haven't colored in it yet. And the page that I have picked out is just a simple one because I wanted to start with a simple one in here, and it's this one. Um, I do want to start doing more live stream coloring on my channel. Last week, I streamed um, Tuesday and Thursday. Actually, it might have been Thursday and Saturday. I'm not sure. I streamed at least two days last week. So my goal stream days are Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday um, around 8.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. And Tuesdays would be me coloring in a book, whether that's a brand new page or a whip that I've been working on that I need to finish. Thursdays are going to be for PDFs. It's going to be the same idea, either a, a brand new one or a PDF that I need to finish. And Saturdays, what I want to do for Saturdays is I want to use Color With Claire's new um, game that she created that helps you pick your prompt and your colors and the medium that you use and everything. And it's called Coloring Roulette. If you have not seen Color with Claire's video demonstrating how it works, and she also has a video, um, sorry. So the first video was her just explaining how it works. She also has another video where she actually demonstrates how to use it. She uses it herself and colors a page, um, and I believe it's her latest video. So definitely head on over there and check those out if you have not heard about the game yet. And so that is what my Saturdays I'm hoping is going to be like using that game to pick a brand new page to color and all of that. So that is my plan for my streams. Um, so that is what this page possibly will be. Um, or I will be working on this Tuesday night, which is actually tonight because I am filming this on Tuesday. So this is the page in um, City Among the Stars that I want to do for May. Then I have the volume 8 of these. Um, I hate saying the names because I don't know how to pronounce them. Because I don't speak French, okay? If it was in Spanish, I could do it. I know they're a little slightly a tiny bit somewhere but yeah I don't speak French but I have a whip in here I've done just the outlining I actually would have to go back and look because I'm not sure I'm even finished with the outlining and it's this page here of stitch so <clears throat> I want to finish this up so this would be a whip for May. If 
then I have a net. Let me move these. Then I have another whip that I need to finish that I actually started on stream. And it is, I didn't mark this one either, dang it. It's a page, it's this one here with Ariel and Ursula where they have basically reversed roles. Ariel is the villain and Ursula is the, I don't know what you want to call her, good guy, damsel in distress, whatever you want to call her. You see how she's looking like she's appalled? Hmm. She a lie. Um, but yeah, so I want to finish this up. There isn't much left to do. These pages are pretty simple, which is one of the reasons why I love these books. Um, but yeah, I need to finish up the Ariel and Ursula page. Then I want to do one in Reptilioids Volume 2. I didn't even know that there was a volume two until I seen it on, um, I want to say it was T's channel because every time I watch one of T's videos, which more than likely is a haul video, I buy something. So <sighs> I've been having to stay off her haul videos because I cannot buy anything right now. I would love to, but I can't do that. Um, oh, let me... Don't take that off. I want to do this page here in um, volume two. I don't know why. I like the sunflower and the way he's looking up at it with this little watering can and everything. He's cute. Ugly cute. So that's the one I want to do in there. And I love how a lot of these are landscaped in this book too. Because a lot of the ones in the first volume were portraits. So I like how they kind of changed it up for volume two. Then I want to do one in Wednesday Girls Celebrate the Holidays. The one in here that I want to do, did I just, no I didn't, is, I don't know why I'm flipping through because I marked it. This one here, um, this would be for two things. This would be a page for, um, I did a vivi video. I did a video for a Mother's Day themed scavenger hunt. And one of them was um, breakfast or um, like a mother with her children. So this could go for either one of those prompts. So I definitely want to do this one. And then for Mermaid, I want to do one in the Jasmine Beckett Griffith book because I haven't colored in any of her books in a really long time. Um, I haven't even touched the Alice in Wonderland one, mostly because Alice in Wonderland is my favorite Disney movie. And I don't, I feel like I'm gonna ruin the pictures in that book and I really don't wanna do that because like I love the entire book and I really don't wanna ruin the images. But I also can't just leave it, um, I mean, I guess I could leave it uncolored, it's really up to me, but I don't want to. So I'm gonna have to color in it eventually. So I'm gonna attempt this page. This is the one that I wanted, or is my goal to color in this book for May. Um, with the pirate ship and everything, it kind of gives me Uma from Descendants vibes. If y'all don't know who that is, there is a series of movies on Disney Channel that my kids have gotten me into and it's called Descendants. And it's basically the children of um, all of the fairy tale characters that we grew up with. People around my age. I am not telling you my age. If you know it, keep it to yourself, okay? But um, yeah, so Uma is the daughter of Ursula. And it she hangs around with pirates and stuff. And it kind of gives me that kind of vibe with the pirate ship in the back and everything. So... I want to attempt to color her as Uma. So that is my plan for that one. And then I have one more book that I need to grab. And that is this one here. And hopefully it's in frame. I actually have two pages in here that I want to work on. One is this whip. It's about halfway done, maybe more than halfway done, I'd say. Um, this is a buddy color with somebody on a Discord that I am on. And I just need to do some pencil shading. 
throw a background on there. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. I'll have to think about it. And add some stickles because you got to have the stickles. And then she'll be done. So I got to finish up this whip. And then I, where is it at? I want to do this Cinderella page. So in the Discord that I am on, that is a gaming Discord. It has nothing to do, well, I'm not going to say nothing because you can share your coloring stuff in there. But it's mainly a gaming channel. And every Sunday, um, we have movie night. and We have been doing um, Disney movies. So while we watch the movie, I color a page in Fairy Tale Princess by Mystic Art Mares. And um, I got so wrapped up in watching the movie when we watched Cinderella a couple weeks ago that I didn't color the page. So I need to color the page and I did color Ariel because we watched Ariel this past Sunday. And um, the Belle one, we haven't actually watched Beauty and the Beast. It was just a buddy color that we picked to do. So that is all of what I want to color for May. Normally, that wouldn't be a lot for me. About two years ago, I'd be able to easily, I want to say, get those pages done. Um, but I have not been coloring much up until about two, a week and a half ago, like the end of April, about two weeks ago, I'd say. Um, so we will see how many of these pages I actually get finished. I do already have three, one, two, three. Yeah, I do already have three completed pages for May. So I'm on a good track. So we will see at the end of the month what all I'm able to get done. But that is it for this video. If you do want to see what I get finished, um, definitely check out my video in June for um, my completed pages for the month of May. Also, if you would like to see me color any of these pages, possibly live on stream, definitely check out my um, streaming schedule. I shared it in my community posts on my channel. And if you follow me on Instagram, I will also be posting it on my Instagram as well. But that is all. I appreciate all of you for watching, whoever is here. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.